After more than half a century since the Apollo missions, we are sending humans back to the moon. Now the moon's total surface area is about the size of Africa. So humans, well, have only briefly explored a tiny part of it. Today, companies and governments are trying to establish a sustained presence on the moon. We are talking about humans living and working up there. It will require the highest levels of science and technology, and needless to say, money. But there could be a good economic case for exploring the moon, because it is loaded with metals and resources that are valuable for us on Earth and in space. For example, NASA discovered water ice on the moon's surface. The constituents of water, hydrogen and oxygen, are the main components of rocket fuel, which we need lots of to get to places like, say, Mars. Now, if successful, this modern moonshot could unlock not only the next phase of interplanetary exploration, but maybe a new part of the space economy, making money on and around the moon. If we can find ways to sustain businesses on the lunar surface, then perhaps we can also find ways to sustain businesses even further out in deep space. But are the risks worth the rewards? 